Hopefully that's not going to be too tired. Just kidding. Uh, so my name is Joe, and many of you guys ask how I know Enrico. I'm not from Michigan. So... <laughs> well, he and I, we met 20 years ago when we first got recruited from a company called GT, and now it's Verizon. I was in the uh, marketing and sales program called Associate Business Account Manager, or ABAM. Now, Enrico was in the engineering program. It was called the Network Engineering Recruiting Development Program. Nerd, for short. <laughs> now, you think people would be offended by that, but he was actually very proud. <laughs> so over the years, as you know, Enrico, he's a very passionate person. Everything he does, he does with passion. And, you know, from climbing Kilimanjaro to traveling all different places to jumping off the airplane, everything he does, he just does with passion. But there's few things that he's absolutely passionate about. First and foremost, family. Family's utmost important to him. Um, you know, there's a little side story that actually told Tess, and she didn't couldn't quite remember, but when Kayla was very young, she, I think she was like, what, one year old or two? She, I think you submitted her to a... a beauty contest or baby cuteness contest, something of that nature. <laughs> and Enrico made everybody, everybody in the work to go over his desk and voted for her. So, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if she won or not, but she, we, we, all, we all looked at the pictures. All right. <laughs> the other part that he's very passionate about is Michigan football. Hey, surprise. <laughs> And there's a funny story about that. So, when we start working, there was a guy, his name's also Joe, Joe Bruno. And uh, he's from Penn State. And so, at work, he would actually hang a big, huge Michigan flag. Actually, do you still have that? <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> okay, all right. So we hang it over, and so I think, I'm not sure if they were playing or whatnot, but one day, we decided to prank on him. So we took the flag down, and actually stuffed it into a Microsoft Windows box in his drawer, left a voicemail, which ran some notes saying, you know, <laughs> you gotta pay up or you're never gonna see your flag again. And, uh, you know, people would laugh, ha ha ha. He actually took it very seriously. He was about to call 911 and uh, <laughs> FBI and everybody else, right? So, you know, the second thing he's very passionate about is absolutely football. Now, there's so many different things. I was on top of food, but yeah, I think that kind of goes without saying, so. <laughs> but you know, the last thing I would say that he's very passionate about is Sally. You know, it's uh, one of the things that I had the joy of knowing him for the past 20 years is he would come visit us, well actually because of taxes or, or seeing his financial advisor. But anyway, so he would come to California to see us. But for the past couple of years, he kind of disappeared. And so we're like, hey, what happened? <laughs> so he says, I think I found the one. And uh, I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so Enrico, well, actually, I want to talk to Sally first. Sally, you're getting a great guy with full of just giant heart. He's probably the most genuine person you'll ever meet. And you probably know that, too. So uh, everything he does, he does with full passion. You have impacts in his life. And actually, all the friends we're talking about, he's actually a lot more prompt right now. And uh, he's a planner, so... <laughs> and he wants to make sure everything in your life, he's going to make it perfect. Enrico, I really didn't think you were going to find her. <laughs> you moved from Malibu, a wonderful bachelor pad right on Pacific Ocean, headed out east to New York to find the concept of her. And I says, man, I, good luck. <laughs> but you know what? 40 years, wait, should I say this age? Okay. <laughs> okay, many years later, <laughs> you found her. So to both of you, great journey is just ahead of you, and I'm so excited to be part of your life, and looking forward to you guys growing closer together, and uh, become one of many cockin' around. So, two cheers. Cheers!